Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to read you a story from our dearest medium again. This one is going to be hunting for hidden treasures. And in this one, we are going to look at unveiling the 403 bypass bug bug bounty adventure. Let's get into it. Hello there, I am Pratik Dabi, a bug bounty hunter and a penetration tester. Many of you may already know me, but for those of you who aren't, please visit my website, which I'll also put in the description below, of course, if you're interested in that. Um, to learn more about me. So in this blog, I wanted to share an interesting bug that I have found on an MNC, multinational company's website. The story starts when I was doing the recon on my target. I found a few interesting subdomains, which gave me 403 errors. I thought, oh, why don't you try and fuzz and try to bypass the protection? So I used a 403 tool to bypass the security. And then I found a few more interesting endpoints that helped me bypass that protection. Let's get started. What's a 403 error? A 403 forbidden error is an HTTP status code that means that the client was able to communicate with the server, but that the server won't let the client access what was requested. This can happen for a number of reasons, such as the client not having the required permissions to access the requested resource, the resource not existing, the resource being protected by a password that the client does not know, the server being configured to deny access to all clients. 403 bypasses is the act of circumventing a 403 forbidden error and getting access to a protected resource. There are a number of different ways to bypass a 403 error, but none of them are guaranteed to work. Some of the most common methods include Path fuzzing. This involves trying to access the resource using different variations of the path. For example, if you're trying to access a resource at slash admin, you could slide, try slash admin slash single quote slash admin percent to e slash or slash admin slash dot ht access. We can also try HTTP header fuzzing, which involves trying to access the resource using different HTTP headers. For example, you could try setting the refer header to a different website or setting the user agent header to a different browser. Exploiting vulnerabilities in the server software, this is more of an advanced method and it can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So what is the 403 tool? This tool has all the possible techniques to bypass the 403 slash 401 error and you can learn more about it on GitHub, which I will again also link in the description below if you're interested in it. And if this has helped you in any way, please don't forget to buy the creator a beer. It's always appreciated. I started with basics collecting all of the subdomains of the target using various tools like AMAS, Sublister and more. I used Wayback URLs along with HTTPX to probe the URLs and retrieve the current status of URLs. And we can see that in the picture as well. Of course, we see Subfinder being active, being piped into Wayback URLs and then HTTPX is used to see which is active. I found staging.target.com slash actuator slash Prometheus, but it's giving me a 403 error. The parent folder of the same though is giving me a 200 OK status. As I have found a few bugs on the target using Spring Boot, I was familiar with the slash actuator folders on the website, but I was not aware of the slash Prometheus like what it is and why it's used, for example. So I used Google to gather some information about it. And if you don't know, let me brief you in a little bit about it. You can see as well here that we have that endpoint that was talked about. What is the actuator? Spring Boot Actuator is a sub project of Spring Boot that provides production ready features for monitoring and managing Spring Boot applications. It exposes operational information about the running application, such as the health, metrics, information, dumps, environments, etc., through HTTP endpoints or JMX beans. The actuator is enabled by default in Spring Boot applications. To expose the actuator endpoints, though, you're going to need to add the Spring Boot starter actuator dependency to your project. Once this dependency is 
added, you can access the actuator endpoints at the slash actuator endpoint. So what is Prometheus then? Prometheus is a monitoring system and a time series database. It is presumed that untrusted users have access to the Prometheus HTTP endpoint and logs. They have access to all time series information contained in the database, plus a variety of operational debugging information. It is also presumed that only trusted users have the ability to change the command line, configuration files, rule files and other aspects of the runtime environment of Prometheus and other components. I found this endpoint interesting, so I used the 403 to bypass it. And after testing a few payload tools, I found that using URL encoding, I was able to bypass it. As we can see right here, the tool that was being used was the 403 bypass tool. And right here, we see the attack going on as well. So the URL looks something like staging.target.com slash actuator slash Prometheus percent to F dot dot percent to F dot dot percent to F. And that is translating to a slash, of course. If we look at the screenshot, I cannot really fully zoom in, but you can see some error information. After investigating the endpoint, I found a few interesting informations in it, which may help an attacker to further investigate the target and application and exploit it accordingly. As for the mitigations to fix this 403 bypass, you need to identify the method that is being used to bypass your security measures. Once you have identified the method, you can take the steps to mitigate the risks. Here are some general steps that you can follow to fix a 403 bypass. Identify the method that is being used to bypass your security measures. You can do this by analyzing your server logs and looking for suspicious activity. You can also use a web application filter or WAF to detect and block malicious traffic. Update your server software. Make sure that you are using the latest version of your server software and that all of your security patches are installed. Configure your server correctly. Make sure that your server is configured correctly and that all of your security measures are enabled. Use strong passwords and authentication mechanisms. Make sure that you are using strong passwords and authentication mechanisms in this. Monitoring the server for suspicious activity and some additional steps that you can take to fix the specific types of 403 bypass attacks are path fuzzing and to prevent this, you can use web application firewalls to block requests that contain suspicious characters in the path. You can also configure your server to deny access to all files and directories that are not explicitly allowed. This is also known as whitelist based filtering. HTTP header fuzzing to prevent HTTP header attacks you can use a WAF to block requests that contain suspicious HTTP headers. You can also configure your servers to ignore or deny requests that contain certain HTTP headers, such as that referrer header we talked about before. <clears throat> Exploiting vulnerabilities in your server software to prevent vulnerabilities in this from being exploited, you should keep your server software up to date and install all of the security patches. You should also configure your server correctly and use strong passwords and authentication mechanisms for all your accounts. With this vulnerability, I was able to go to get some good money. I'll show you some reports. Here you can see that $600 has been made with this P3. So good find there, really good find. I will put all of the socials in the description below as well as the link to the article and the link to the websites I have just shown. Thank you very much for watching Amazing Hackers. I really appreciate it. I would like it so much if you could leave me a like and maybe even if I haven't just subscribed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, Amazing Hackers. Bye-bye.